my eight-year-old's closet. Both girls have pretty small rooms and very small closets. So if you saw my small closet organization video from a while back, not a whole lot has changed. We did do a few little tweaks here and there when we redid her room just most recently. So I wanted to share with you guys some things that we added and then just if you hadn't seen that old video, kind of how we set up the closets. And my oldest daughter's closet is set up pretty much the same way where they both have a storage thing in the middle and then clothes on both sides. So the only difference is my oldest daughter has Ikea Expedit, which is now called the Calyx, kind of the cube unit. This one is the Ikea Trofast. So these are actually um, on track, so you can put shelves like we have here, or you can put bins that slide in and out, which is the way we used to have it. The shelves are really inexpensive, and obviously you can do a combination of shelves and bins, however you decide to set it up. I really like the shelves because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room here. All of these tracks, I could put a shelf in, I could have one big opening like we have down here. So I like how it's versatile, which is really, really important when you have a small space that you're organizing to be able to make changes as things change in your life or you add more things or things get bigger or smaller. It makes it nice to be able to adjust those up and down however many times we want. So we do have a couple extra shelves if we want to add them to make smaller shelves, um, but right now we have them fairly large. And this is an example of the, the bins that actually are meant to go with the system that slide in and out of these tracks. And if you can notice here, we don't even have this one on a track. It's just sitting underneath there, and then we have the lowest shelf setting, and then the little guy underneath there. So this has all of her little interactive pets, little live pet turtles, and Zuzu pets, and these little, whatever these guys are called, I don't know, but they like move and bark, and things that move around that were smaller. And on these other shelves, we just have pretty much her larger toys, and these are all interactive animals. So the robotic cat, and that little cat from a few years ago, and the hedgehog from last Christmas, that tiger from I think maybe last Christmas and just all these different interactive animals here and these two cubbies. Then we just have her Hatchimal, her little interactive bird, and interactive butterfly. As you're noticing the theme here, she really likes all these little animals that talk and move and respond. So those all live in these shelves. And up here we just have some smaller things. So her Viewmaster, the Viewmaster projector, and then some kaleidoscopes. And up here she's just got some little things, her little mailbox some seashells that we got in Florida, a little snow globe, and then her little rainbow wand. Clothes on both sides. I talked about this before in that other video too. These are actually the Lowe's version of Container Stores Alpha. They are not nearly as good. Um, they don't move up and down as easily as they're supposed to. So even though these do adjust, all of these can go up and down. Um, they're not very easy and they're definitely not something that I can do on my own. My husband has to usually come and help just because he's, I don't know, my hands aren't strong enough. But it is set up that these shelves that her clothes are hanging from can go up and down as she gets bigger or as we change what we put in here. So that is nice to have that versatility and that goes back to what I said about being able to have a space that can grow with you and, your, and change with your needs, which is especially important in a small space. So she's got clothes, double hang here, so both shirts, uh, two layers of shirts on this side, and on this side, we just have uh, longer dresses and scarves and stuff, and then no shelf underneath at this point. We could add one later if we wanted to, but I don't really see the point because we do need some long hang space. And then she's just got her American Girl doll down there. So that is how her clothes are set up, at least the stuff that we keep in the closet. Above that, on this shelf, she has all of her purses, and they were falling down inside the wires here, and I know you can buy like shelf covers that will keep things from falling through wire shelves. This is actually just a cheap old Disney princess placemat that I stuck on there and that way it keeps her purse straps from falling down inside the wires. So that was an easy solution with something that I already had. This basket used to be next to her bed and have her books in it. Now it's got all of her little accessory bags. So wallets and change purses and little bags and little clutches and things that she likes to pack and take with her. Next to that, we have a little tiny backpack full of all of the keychains that the girls wanted to keep, so decorative keychains. And then she's got um, a Zubles playset right there. Up there, and that shelf does move up and down as well. Um, it's pretty much stuff that we don't access very often because it is hard to get things in and out of. This white container here is from Ikea. That has all of her out of season clothes, so spring and summer clothes and pajamas stay in there while it is fall and winter in real life. And then when fall and winter is over, these things will get 
packed up there and then that stuff will come down if it still fits. I have extra hangers and then her extra memory boxes, which are just some boxes that the girls like to keep full of things that are important to them. So movie tickets or Disney magic bands or things like that that they like to keep. Those are ones that already are full. Um, and pretty much she likes to keep a lot of everything. And given the fact that she's eight years old and already has three that are full and one under her bed that is in progress, I'm a little worried that she's kind of a memento pack rat like I am. But that's okay. So those are up there. They don't get accessed very often. They're not bothering anything and taking up really any prime space, so I don't mind that they're up there. But that's pretty much how her closet is set up. We just have a little footstool that stays there. It can fold up, but for the most part, it just sits right there. And that way, if she needs to get something up here that she can't reach very easily, she can use her step stool. You know, we used to have a oversized shoe bag on the back of her door that kept larger toys and dolls. I still love that idea. I think it's a great idea. But at this point in the game, she really needed a lot more room to keep her jewelry. Now, her sister has the same hanging jewelry organizer. I had a hard time finding one for her. I think it must have been out of stock when I went to get one. But I did see them the other day on HSN. So I will try to, to link it if I can find it. I had to get this one off eBay. That's how desperate I was because I love this thing. And it really holds a lot of jewelry. But, um, you know, I had to get desperate and get it off eBay. But basically, it, it rolls up, but we wanted to leave it hanging. So we already had the hooks there from the other bag that we had hanging there. So I just hung it from those hooks. And as you can see, it holds all of her bracelets and rings and costume jewelry and seasonal necklaces. She's got a couple little magic wands there, uh, her little feather fan down there. Um, but like I said, her older sister has the same thing and obviously has more jewelry pieces that are a little bit nicer and it works really well for that too. So once she kind of outgrows a lot of this costume stuff, which not everything is, but a lot of it is, once she kind of outgrows that, this is going to be something that she can use pretty much until she moves out and even then after that because it really does have so much storage. I feel like it's gentle on fine jewelry like this is actually a real gold necklace and pearls and I feel like these Velcro loop closures Still keep things nice and separated, but they don't damage necklaces. So I feel like going forward, it's a very good, inexpensive, long-term jewelry solution that holds a lot of stuff and takes advantage of what may otherwise be unused space like the back of a door. So, and you can roll it up if you choose to, but I just, that we don't need to do that, but it does roll up if you need it to. That is pretty much everything that we have done in her closet to try to make the most use of the space that we have. If you want to see how everything is set up and organized in her room as far as her bed storage, extra toy storage, extra clothes storage, and things like that, then definitely check out the video from earlier this week. I showed how we reorganized her room and made as much space for her as possible. So if you want to see that, then definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked for you below. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, definitely check Ikea because they are a great place to go for inexpensive organizing solutions. That Things like this that you, know, you can mix and match and make really versatile for your space. So Ikea is something that I highly recommend for organizational furniture. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those and I will see you guys in the next video.